But so I wanted to, just from a high level view, I wanted to recap EHD and CWD because I, like you, and like you see so much information out there. Am I correct in saying that CWD is a prion that gets into the deer's brain and that it it affects different parts of the deer's brain and it, you know, I'm dumbing this down. It, it takes years to, de- maybe a year, two years, three years to develop and it can affect the deer differently and it can affect their senses differently and it can take longer or shorter periods of time where EHD is um, a midge fly that lives in the soil in stagnant water that transfers that through a bite and soft tissue onto a deer and um, creates uh, internal bleeding that can cause a deer to die quickly. Did I, did I get that? EHD is a virus. Prions are not living. The deer creates those prions themselves. So that's, oh, so it's so, not extracted but they shed, by but they do shed those prions and feces and they can be uptake by other deer, nose to nose contact. They're, they're scary science fiction stuff. I so mean, EHD t- is a living thing that yeah. kills them. CWD prion is a non-living thing. Because it's, I, a, it's a protein. It's a misfolded protein. It doesn't have a, you know, they don't reproduce cellular. You so know, by virus. misfolded, that means it's bad. So one of my a biggest. mutation, okay. if you will. But it's transferable. That's what's weird about it what's what's annoying to me is like talking to friends or family and hearing them mess up ehd cwd and having absolutely that's why i wanted to kind of recap that because literally yeah, like people you said, see a deer wa- they people just see a deer have, walking around aimlessly in a field they say I saw a they deer have with CWD. Yeah. no idea it, what it they're could talking be a about. lot of things